terminal locations, the dangers to openings in a building. There are several openings that can be present in a building. Doors, windows, and what we call Velux windows in the roof. In reality, a Velux window looks like that. In this diagram, it shows you that you cannot place a terminal nearer to that window than 600 millimeters horizontally to the side or 600 millimeters above it. However, the big restriction is below the window. Now you're not allowed to place a terminal nearer than two meters below a Velux window. And as you can see from the photograph, the reasons are quite obvious. If you had a flu terminal below that window, the products of combustion would go straight into the window once they'd left the flu. This diagram is a very simplified one of the similar diagram you've got in the Viper book, which explains how close the minimum distance you can put a terminal close to the various parts of a house. Remember, these measurements are the minimum that you must stay away from the openings, the corners, and the doors. Now some people don't know what a carport is. The carport is represented basically by J on the side of the house and there's a picture of a carport. For the purposes of this exercise we're going to look at distances from the side window although this also applies if it was a door and in particular we're going to work out where to put a terminal horizontally next to the window which in this picture is called C There again is a simplified version of the chart you've got in the Viper book. And you can see across the top, it says terminal position, heat input, because the size of the appliance counts, and whether it's a natural draft or fan draft appliance. These things make a difference to where you can place your terminal. In this case, we're going to use a 24 kilowatt net natural draft boiler. And as I said previously, we're going to stick it horizontally next to an opening. That could be a window, an air brick, a door, anything like that. So what we need to do now is identify the size, so it's between 14 and 32 kilowatts. We know it's natural draft, and we simply match these two up together, see where they meet, and it's at 600 millimeters. So, the measurement C on the previous drawing, when you're using a 24 kilowatt natural draft boiler, would be 600 millimeters minimum distance 
away from the window. Here's a real life example of a balanced flu terminal which is too close to an openable window. <clears throat> this is a natural draft balanced flue. You can tell that because it's made of metal and it's a big square shiny terminal. In general, these are natural draft terminals. And where it's positioned is quite complex from a location point of view because you've got to worry about A, its distance from the window, B, its distance from that ventilation hole, and C, its distance from the soffit and plastic gutter. All of these things have to be taken into consideration. If you look at your chart, you'll be able to see how close a balanced flue terminal is allowed to be to a window. As an aside, and just to help you with your identification when you come across these puzzles, that is a fan draft terminal. So in general, a natural draft balanced flue terminal will look like that one and a fan draft terminal will look like that one.